advice for you, champ. You've got a championship, and I expect you to defend it vigorously. And if the competition's too stiff for you, we've got an entire locker room of superstars who would be happy to take over. Hey, champ, this is the coach, Mr. McMahon's executive assistant in charge of Raw. Now listen, backlash is only a month away, and I'm counting on you to carry the pay-per-view. If you can't do that, I'll find another superstar who can handle the pressure. You know, if I was a champion, I wouldn't wait for the general manager to find me an opponent. I would challenge the toughest superstars on the roster to earn the, como se dice, respect. So who would you pick, champ? Uh-oh, here comes Armando. You should think real hard before opening your big mouth, champ. What the hell? You say you want to make an impact? Wait, that's the other number one contender. I guess I beat you to the punch, champ. Well, that's one sick way to tenderize a piece of meat. Why <sighs> Umaga said that he'll kick you and all your friends' asses next time. Oh, yeah. He also said that you're ugly. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh, please, please, please pick up. He's after me. He says he's going to use me to send a message to you. I, I don't even know what that means. I can't get out of... Oh, my gosh! There's Melina! She's all tied up! But who would have done this? Hang on, I'll untie you! What's going on? My God! A two-on-one assault against the champion! I wanted to give you a present for the other night. I don't believe it! It was all a damn setup! It sure seems that way, JR. Welcome to Raw. With almost a month ago until Backlash, things are really heating up around here. This is Tim Ross, here with Jerry the King Law, and I couldn't be more excited about tonight. <laughs> Me neither. The champ has chosen his challenger, and the title might not be on the line, but the champ's neck sure is. If the champ wants to start whittling down number one contenders, this is exactly what he has to do. You're right about that, JR. Let's see if he can do it. He's the champion's chosen opponent. But I have to wonder if the champ isn't going to regret his decision. I'm sure he will, but what choice did he have? Talk about being put in a lose-lose situation. His championship is not on the line tonight. But that doesn't make this match any less dangerous. And that doesn't mean that his championship isn't in danger. If he gets injured here tonight, he might have to forfeit the title. They call him the Samoan Bulldozer. And you don't get closer to the truth than that. No kidding. He's just about as big and almost as strong. And the only difference is, you can turn a bulldozer. This could be a pinfall. Two. Three. This is over. I believe the champion's true champion lies ahead of No doubt about it. This wasn't anything more than a distraction between this thing and the backstage assault we saw earlier. I wonder how much the champ has left. Sure has been a bad week for the champ, and that match is still a month away. He's got no choice but to fight with everything he's got. That comes with being the champ, JR. And there's always plenty of superstars ready to take your place.
My name is Armando Alejandro Estrada. And I got a message from the Samoan bulldozer. Ooh, my God. He wants to, como se dice, settle your differences in the ring. So if you got the cojones, he will see you out there. So, that big Samoan tub of guts gets a match, but I don't. All right, fine. We'll play that way, but a little word to the wise. Getting into the ring with him ain't gonna keep me from putting a hurting on you. We're only a few weeks away from Backlash. Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler at ringside, and tonight, the champ is looking to eliminate a rival. He's gotta do something. He's got two of Raw's biggest superstars after his championship. That comes with being the champion. Everyone wants a shot at you. And they'll take any part of you that they can get. I wish him luck, because he's going to need it. This animal is a formidable opponent, no doubt about it. But is there any truth to the rumor that he's not going to be the champ's only opponent tonight? For the champ's sake, I hope they're just rumors. We're only a couple of weeks away from Backlash, and the last thing the champ needs to deal with is a two-on-one situation. The champ has proven himself to be the best Raw has to offer, but tonight, he's up against as tough an opponent as he's ever faced. And he could be walking straight into a trap, if you know who shows up. Man, the rumors were true. It looks like we've got a triple threat match on our hands tonight. The champ could lose this match without even being involved in the decision. He's got his work cut out for him, that's for sure. Nothing wrong with that, King. That's what we like to hear. Good grief. I don't care how tough. The champ is showing no signs of backing down. I think he's got more heart than brains, JR. He certainly needs to choose his next move. Absolutely. I don't think the champ can handle this monster by himself. But who in their right mind would cross it? I don't know. Maybe the champ's got to fight fire with fire. Amigo, I got the opportunity of a lifetime for you. <laughs> Your opponent is, como se dice, the thorn in all of our sides. See? I'll give you the chance to work with Umaga to get rid of him. You got my word, amigo. If you accept this generous offer, Umaga will not harm you. For now. Hey, yo. It's Cena. I heard you told Armando where he could stick his offer. This don't change anything between us. But you want help putting that fat bastard out of commission? You just holler. With less than two weeks to go until Backlash, sparks will fly here tonight. This is good old JR Jim Ross here with Jerry Lawler. And we're hearing rumors that the champion has been offered an alliance. And he'd better take it. Nobody could survive long against his two rivals. It does seem like the champ's luck is changing. But is it too good to be true? Don't be so cynical, JR. Besides, what choice does he have? The champion got on this superstar's bad side when he refused his offer of assistance. You say that like he's got a good side, JR. He'll stop at nothing to break the champ in half, and he's made no secret of that. I give the champ all the credit in the world for managing to survive two of the most dangerous superstars overall for this long. Watch it, JR. Don't jinx him. Tonight's a long way from being over. You talk about ruthless aggression. Look at the way these superstars have been going after each other. And there's the cover. One, two, three. Somehow, the champion has survived yet another monster. Yeah, but if 
he was a cat, I'd say his nine lives are about up. We know the GM wants him to rest up next week or judgment day. Good. He should. But I doubt he will. You might be right. He didn't earn that championship by taking time off. He sure didn't. He's got to keep the pressure on all the way to backlash. What the hell do you think you're doing? I don't want to see alliances. I want to see a champion who is ruthless. So put one of those animals down. Backlash is this Sunday. This is Oklahoma's own Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. And tonight, the number one contender will be decided. And this is huge, JR. If anyone wants to make an impact before Backlash, tonight's the night. And with the champion not scheduled for a match, you have to wonder how he'll make his presence felt. I don't know, but he better do something. You don't hold on to the championship by sitting on your butt. We've seen them try to destroy a common enemy for the last several weeks. But now it's animal versus monster in a one-on-one -on -one match. This isn't just a match, JR. This is a war. For the safety of the fans, they should have made this a steel cage match. The animal's looking hungry here tonight, King. I don't think anyone should expect any mercy from him tonight. Of course not. You never want to rely on this guy being in a good mood. Not when the stakes are this high. I would hate to have to get between these two animals. It's not going to be pretty, JR. They're going to tear each other apart, just like they've done to the champion. Well, speak of a two.
He's been called a monster many times in his career, not only for his imposing presence, but for the brutality he inflicts on his opponents. It's like a horror movie, JR. The champ has tried to get away from the monster, but he's always one step behind him. Now the champ has reached a dead end, and there's no way out. Superstars are beating the heck out of each other, and this crowd can't get enough of it. It's what they pay. Oh no! I don't like the looks of this. He's got the fans behind him, King, and his opponent had better watch out. He's a slippery devil. Look at this! Look at this! You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right here. Uh, yeah? Well, somebody better put out that fire, or this one's not gonna end well. Break. It doesn't matter who Umaga's in the ring against or how I feel about them personally, I pity them. I know what you mean, JR. I don't even know if Umaga understands the whole concept of winning a match. I think he just hits his opponent until they don't. If he's looking for a weapon, he's in the right place. I've got a beat. Look at that! He's bleeding like a stuck pig! The referee had better get in there and take a look at that. We may need to stop this match. Stop the match? Are you crazy, JR? It's just getting interesting. Oh no, this is terrible. You can't let your opponent build this kind of momentum. Well, all I can say is someone's been eating their vitamins and saying their prayers. I tell you, King. Sometimes I get exhausted just watching these superstars compete. I know what you mean, JR. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible oh. athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got oh. to have some excellent conditioning to be able to do what they do. Well, that's the name of the game, JR. you got to keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. I'd ask you where you come up with this stuff, but... Oh, sure. Now the fans start to cheer for him. Now that he's in the driver's seat, come on, King. He's had the crowd behind him all match, and now it's paying off. Can you believe we actually get paid to do this job, JR? It's like a dream come true, King. Except when I have to sit here and listen to you rule over the divas. Come on, JR. You know I'm helpless when it comes to puppies. 
Oh, I know, King. And that's why I'm bringing a pitcher. He went straight for the pin. One, no flies on two, him. Three. He did it. He retained the championship. I don't believe it. I never thought he'd pull it off. And here he goes, adding a little insult to injury. Or a little injury to injury. I think he's sending a message to every other potential contender. No doubt about it. And I think it's being received loud and clear. Wow, he's really rubbing it in. Good for him. You can't tell me his opponent would have done any different. Looks like you came out of your title defense in one piece. Congratulations. Savor that victory, because it only gets tougher from here on out.